Hi, hello everyone. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today to this uh, session to uh, let you know what does this uh, uh, European largest deep tech funding ecosystem means. Uh, this is what is funding box, but we are not only this. In the previous session, Martin has shown you uh, some of our champions. I will uh, go through a, a walk on our website and our uh, tech communities to let you know uh, a bit before and provide you a bit of context of what we are. We are funding champions and uh, funding champions means that if you are a startup, you can dig into funding opportunities. If you are a corporate and you want to meet our champions, you can meet our scale up box you can see lots of boxes there in the website and i will make this walk through across our tech communities to let you know how to enter into them and take the most and no matters if you are a startup if you are a scale up or if you are a corporate or investor looking for connections looking for funding or looking for a specific uh, communities I will switch off my camera now and let's make this work through. Uh, how can I get access to this deep tech funding ecosystems, a community of communities, how we call them? You can get access through many, many uh, ways, but the first one is if you go through fundingbox.com. And here is where we say first that we are funding champions. Funding champions means that you can ignite your growth and rewrite your future now through easy to apply funding opportunities, exclusive partnerships with global brands and community knowledge. And all is in the box. If you scroll down in the website, you can see what we are and what we offer to startups, to investors, or no matter if you are a startup or an investor, you can get access to curated ecosystems. We provide funding if you are a startup mainly. We are providing the best return of investment if you are an investor or a corporate. And you can unveil what we are going through the boxes. So for the money box, if you are a startup, you can find funding. If you are a corporate or an investor, you can go through the scale up box and meet how you can get the biggest and the most great return of investment to meet our champions. And you can go through the communities box to meet our communities or the technology box where you can find our products, how we are making this possible. And here is where you can get access to our community building technology, which is spaces. In the technology box, you can find how we can select, scout the best startups through our own open call management system. But if you want to create your own champions community, you can get access to the funding box spaces. But it's pretty much uh, remarked where you can get access to our tech communities. You simply have to click on the top right side of our website to explore those tech communities. And if you click on there, voila, you will find spaces. Here's where you can get access to all our communities, what we call our deep tech funding ecosystems. Let's get familiar with the landing page. Here, you have a welcome message where you can find what has happened in all the communities that you are in whilst you were out. If you scroll down, you will see lots of information that has been published in all the communities where you are taking part. If you still scroll down, you can find the last post from all the communities and the feature communities. But this is what you see in the landing page. Um, on the left side of the screen, 
you can get access to lots of uh, possibilities to dig into the communities. First of all, the mentions that have been done to you as a new user uh, through direct chats, through group chats, and these are the ones that you can find here. You can have one-to-one -one conversations with people uh, within or outside any community, or you can create your own chat groups according to uh, the areas or the topics that you want to discuss with other members within the communities, the spaces. This should be like a WhatsApp group, but you can get access to this through this landing page. Also, you can find your connections. You can, again, through go through the recent tabs or make a quick jump to all the communities. Let's click on here. What happens here? Here I can see the last communities I have been uh, joining or accessing. The biggest community that we have is the Funding Box community. And let's go through that community because through there, you can find and explore all the big tech communities. I will click on here. And here is where I can find the landing page of the Funding Box community. I will pass now to this mode not sharing the full screen because here you can see that the URL is specific for each community. But the Funding Box community has been built to allow you, if you are a startup, explore other communities where you can find further funding opportunities. Or maybe if you are an investor or if you are a corporate, you can find our portfolios across the different communities that we manage. If I click on these three lines, I can find what's in this specific community. And I can find two basic things. First of all, I can find spaces. Spaces are communication channels through which people, users within the community, are sharing their posts, basically. And collections are the places where we store information across a concrete area. For example, in the Funding Box community, you can find funding opportunities, posts for startups and SMEs launch, you can find partners for your project, or you can find Funding Box projects. This community, for you to know, will very soon change, and we will adapt a bit the spaces and the collections to our different targets, because we have recently repositioned ourselves as funding champions, as I explained to you before. But anyways, Let's imagine that I am a startup looking for funding. I can go through the space, tap into our funding opportunities, but maybe uh, the most uh, relevant source of information to get funding in the Funding Box community is the Funding Opportunities Collection. Why am I going through the Funding Opportunities Collection? Because the most important thing is that there is a text uh, search box here where I can look for funding. Let's imagine that I am start looking for funding on DLT, Digital Ledger Technologies. So I will type this and I can find that there are no items yet, but maybe I'm working on something related like this, blockchain. And here I can find a funding opportunity that has been shared some time ago, two months ago, this NGI Assure open call for technical R&D projects has been launched. And this is still open till next week, 1st April. But maybe I'm interested in other funding opportunities. Let's go into this one. I can find the information to apply. And through here, I will go through the application submission form. But I want to still explore other related communities. For example, I am working on digital IDs and no matter if I am a startup or if I am investor. For example, a startup will be looking for funding or an investor is looking for startups on this specific area. For example, digital ID, I'm looking for digital ID funding opportunities and here I can find this one. But I want to dig into 
other communities, not only focus on funding. As I said before, if I am an investor or a corporate looking for good startups, I should look for communities related to the area that I want to look for. As I said before, I will look for digital ID communities. And here you can find four results. Okay, I can see these uh, four communities. Three out of them are about digital innovation hubs, but I'm curious about this one that talks about next generation internet. Okay, I will click on this community. I can see an overall summary of this community and a link to join. And here, again, if I'm linking, and this is why we are saying that we are not just a community, but an ecosystems, because we are a community of communities. If I go through this link, the URL changes. I'm still in spaces.fundingbox.com, but I'm in a completely different community. This is a community under the next generation internet. This is about Internet of Human Solutions. And in the left side of the screen, I can see some difference uh, versus the funding box community. I can see here spaces that are grouped. They are grouped by what we call categories. But I guess that they are quite self-explanatory here for the next generation internet community. You can find the category NGI updates, where I can find news, the community guidelines, a space to introduce yourself, and a space for open calls and funding opportunities. Okay, if I am a startup looking for funding, I should go through there. But for example, let's imagine, as I said before, that I am a corporate or investor looking for startups, looking for innovators, and this is how they are called in this specific community. If I click on NGI innovators, I can find here a list of startups, innovators, individuals that are shaping the future Internet of Humans, that it is how it is claimed this community. Here, for example, I can find this one, EdSeq, that has been posted by this user. This user is member of this uh, startup. And I can see here a description. This is a a startup or an individual, an innovator dedicated to things related to IP addresses, IoT. Well, I'm interested and curious about this one. I can, if I scroll down, send some questions to com through comments and replies to this user that has posted this information about the company. But if I scroll up again, I can see that this has been posted by, by this user, which is a member of this uh, entity. If I am interested in going to the conversation with this user, I have to click on here and just start a conversation through a one-to-one -one chat. I can go back and I can find the results of my search. Here, I can get access to many, many other projects. Again, here we can find spaces where I can interact with other users on a one-to-one -one basis or post whatever is interesting to me to showcase. I can see here some private spaces. This is up to the managers of the community to decide if you want to create these private groups. This is no uh, so much uh, uh, allowed for users that are not community managers. I can explain to you a bit more about private spaces later on. But if I go through collections again, I can explore other communities. Here, I can find again other communities. There are no posts yet, but let's imagine other similar community. For example, I'm going back to the home and Let's think about industry for four dot zero. Here I can find many spaces within different uh, communities around the four dot zero area related to my search. For example, uh, I'm going back to the funding box community. 
But here, as I said before, you can find all the communities. And going back to the collection and the explore other communities, I can just scroll down or look for a specific community. Okay, I'm scrolling down for all the communities here. And for example, let's imagine that I'm interested in robotics. If I scroll down, I can find this robot union community, or if I look for it here, I can find the robotics community again. Here you are the post showcasing the community. And if I scroll down, a link to the community. Again, you can see that the URL has changed partially. I'm getting into a different community. As I am signed up and signing in lots of communities personally, I'm not requested to make a sign up again because I am already members of these communities. But anyways, in the robot union, again, you can see that the spaces have changed here. And you can see here uh, many, many uh, spaces, for example, like Robot Union Marketplace. Oh, I'm curious about this ro Robot Union Marketplace. I am an investor. I am looking for startups on the robotics area. I go through this Robotics Marketplace, and you can see lots of posts that have been shared by, in this case, our champions in the robotics area. For example, this one, this is a company, this is a startup that is specialized on robotics and automation. Again, if I want to dig into a more tailored search for anything uh, in this community, I can go through a collection. For example, I can see again several collections. The one that appears almost always by default is explore the communities. I can dig into this community and meet others. But here I can see a collection about our startup portfolio. Oh, I'm an investor. I'm looking again for startups. I go through here and I have here the search box again. I can scroll down and meet many, many startups here. So as you can see in funding box spaces, community building ecosystems, you can find lots of opportunities, no matter if you are a startup looking for funding, no matter if you are an investor looking for startups to scout. And there are many, many ways to get into the all the information available across all the communities. Here, uh, for example, for a newcomer, you can explore communities, other public communities. This left side menu is always available in all the communities. For example, here, if I go through explore public communities, you can find all the tech communities available under uh, funding box spaces. Here you are on mobility, impact connected car. You have one here on manufacturing, I4MS, the funding box community. Here, the biggest ones are showcased. But again, if you go through, for example, this one on advanced manufacturing and you join, you can meet other related communities clicking on the top left side of uh, your screen with these three lines. You can see all the spaces, as said before, all the communication channels within a community. And if you scroll down, you can find the collections if I want to look for specific information. For example, I'm interested in open calls in this area, EU manufacturing industry, or I am looking for other projects related to this initiative or looking for other related communities. Again, you can go back and forth and around all the different communities and you will not get never lost if you go back to the uh, home and you look for the communities taking always as a reference the funding box community which is the one through which you can get access to all the others this is the way to look for specific communities always remind that you have here this search box but for example, in my particular case, something that I have not explained to you is that in the left bottom side of the screen, you can find the direct access links to all the communities that you join. The list for me is really, really long because as I said before, I have joined many, many communities. 
And a relevant uh, uh, thing from an UX uh, perspective is that when you see this uh, orange uh, button here, this means that there are messages without reading. For example, I can see here the Ledger community. This is a community on human centered solutions on digital ledger technologies. Here I can see these points that means that I have not read everything or I have pending messages here on each uh, space. Again, I can go through the collections where I can find finalists here of open calls. I can look and find for uh, startups that I'm looking for if I am an investor, or I can explore other communities and finding further opportunities to interact with other peers across related areas. Well, I think that's all from my side in terms of uh, showcasing you the communities that we have at Funding Box. There are many, many more. And I would like just to remind you, going back to our website, something that is showcased in our communities box, the different communities that you can join through the website, okay? And what are the areas that we cover in these communities? And this is something that you can see in our landing page and something that you can assume after seeing uh, the different communities that I have been showing you today. The, all of them are related to what we call the areas we champion. And at the end of the day, they are deep tech areas. And this is why we say that we are Europe's largest deep tech funding ecosystems. We are talking about AI, manufacturing, robotics, Internet of Things, ed tech, and many, many more. And if you click on these areas we champion, you can get access again to a short list of the communities related to this area. For example, as we are talking about AI, we have two specific projects that you can get interactions with. AI for You, that is a project that is powered by Funding Box, and Robot Union. Again, this is about robotics. And well, going back to the landing page, I will. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> share through the chat the different spaces through which you can get access with the dial link spaces.fundingbox.com. I don't know if you have any question up to now, or I can finalize this short presentation intro, and I would not want to take that much of your time. I can see some people chatting here, and I have provided you with the uh, access to spaces directly. By the way, if you want to get in touch with me you can go through my user at funding box and start a direct conversation with me no questions at the moment you have been quite shy during the sessions today Well, there is a question from uh, Votiek. Uh, sorry if I'm not uh, reading it uh, correctly. No, there are, uh, the question is if we are conditions of joining you. No, absolutely not. And indeed, this is a good question. You can join all our communities for free. We are not charging any fees for being part of our communities. It's completely for free.
More questions? No more questions? Okay. You have no more questions now, or meanwhile you are thinking about your questions. This is just to remind you that we have a specific landing page where you can find all our participation at the World Summit. I'm sharing the link with you in the chat. Here it is. I'm showing this my screen. So you scroll down, you can see that Martin has hosted this session at 11. I'm hosting this one right now. And at two, our managing partner, Thomas Masirich, is uh, participating in the panel at uh, 14 today. 